Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to film a little bit of a different video. This is going to be my perfume collection. Now, I have been doing collection videos here and there. I filmed my highlighter collection a bunch of weeks ago and I have had so many review videos go up that I haven't had time to upload it. So I'm not sure when this perfume collection video is going to go up, but I do hope you enjoy it. If you are new to my channel, my name is Karen Harris. I do upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me. I do urge you to subscribe so you can stay updated on all my new uploads. Also I usually always have giveaways going on and of course you need to be subscribed to be eligible to win. So that's two reasons to subscribe to my channel. If you don't want to though, just enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching it. So without further bothering, let's get into my perfume collection. So you guys, it's pretty bad. I mean, for like one person, I feel like I definitely have more than enough fragrances. Like I don't need to buy any more fragrances until I finish some of these up. So let's start from some of the ones I've had for quite a while. One for sure that needs to get finished up. And I think I stuck a sticker on this. Oh, no, I didn't stick a sticker on this. But this is one I'm working on finishing up because I can see the color changing a little bit on this. This is Ralph Lauren Romance. And if you haven't smelled this perfume, it is a beautiful fragrance. Now, I am not, like, really good at describing notes of fragrances. So I will put the information down here so you guys can read the notes and stuff like that. But this is a definite, perfect description of this perfume is romance. It's still a little bit fresh, a little floral, clean scent, but I love it. And I think this is honestly a wonderful gift for Valentine's Day. I know some of you may have Valentine's Day on your radar. But, I mean, it's coming up, you know, we're getting into the holiday season. So I would definitely save this for like a Valentine's present because romance and Ralph Lauren and it comes in really cute pink packaging as well. So I've had this bottle for years like four or five six potential years that I've had this and as you can see I'm slowly making my way down in this perfume but yeah this is definitely on my pan this fragrance list because I've had it for way too long so a really nice scent there next I want to talk to you guys about another perfume that I'm working on finishing up see I stuck a sticker on it to remind myself to use this this is by the brand Burberry and this one is called Burberry Brit Sheer for her and this is 3.3 fluid ounces now something about me with fragrances for some reason I always seem to buy like the biggest bottle because the little ones just don't seem worth the money. Like I have this one, which was a Christmas gift last year. This is Black Opium by YSL and this is like a tiny bottle. Of course, this fragrance is very expensive, but usually if I'm gonna commit to a fragrance, I just get the biggest size I can find because then I can just like use it up and be done with and it, it feels like it's a better deal. So this one is very nice. The lasting power is not the greatest on this, but it's a very nice fresh scent. So it's definitely something you can carry in your purse and reapply throughout the day, but it's a really nice daytime fragrance because it smells so fresh and clean and just a beautiful scent. I wish it would just last longer. I would not repurchase this fragrance though because like I said, the lasting power is not very good on that particular scent. This one I picked up this is really sad because you spend so much money on a perfume and look at how badly the bottle has like eroded. I believe I picked this up last year during the VIB sale. This is Chloe, um, Rose de Chloe. Sorry, I just dropped the lid, but whatever. Um, and this is definitely one of those scents where I think I like convinced myself that I liked the smell of roses. It's not very, very floral, but I'm not a big floral scent gal. So as you can see, this hasn't really been used. And of course, again, I had to buy the biggest bottle. So this is like 2.5 fluid ounces of product. So I'm hoping someday I will get around to using this, but this does not get enough love in my collection. And it's kind of one of those perfumes I regret buying. Here's kind of another regret. This is Kate Spade Twirl. This was definitely one of those like, oh my god, that's such cute packaging. Oh my god, I love Kate Spade. This one has a very floral scent as well. Oh my god, I just got a whiff of it. 
I think I was gonna pawn this off on my mom when she was here, but of course our luggage is always way too heavy, so she ends up leaving stuff behind, but hopefully the next time she visits I can give this to her because I don't see myself using this. The scent is like way too strong, and I have way more perfumes that I love that I would rather use on a daily basis than this guy. Okay, so let's talk about why I sell black opium. Now, this is definitely an acquired scent. I know a lot of people on YouTube really love this stuff. I got this as a Christmas gift. It's a very strong scent. I definitely think it's a fall, like, nighttime event type scent. So I wouldn't wear this, like, to work or anything. It has, like, a perfect setting, and I think it would be, like, Christmas dinner or like a very fancy affair, this would be the fragrance that you would wear. And my husband's actually a huge fan of YSL scents. This was just kind of one of those things where, okay, if somebody wanted to buy me a gift, sure, they can buy me YSL black <laughs> opium. So that's why it's in my collection, but this does not get enough love in my collection. I just have to be in the mood to wear this, and it doesn't happen very often, unfortunately. But if you guys are looking for a very musky, wintry scent, I would recommend YSL Black Opium to you guys. Okay, let's talk about one of my all-time favorite scents. This is Versace Bright Crystal. Oh my gosh. This perfume, oh my god, I don't know what is in here. I don't know the notes or anything, but I love this perfume. It's actually the perfume I wore on my wedding day, the same bottle, but I do want to finish this up as well. Thing to always keep in mind with makeup products is that they all expire. Perfume expires. So like my mom, she's kind of a hoarder and I get it because perfumes are very expensive in Sri Lanka. So she tries to like keep perfume for ages and ages and ages, but that's not good you guys because if you see a perfume turning color, that means it's going off. So the last time she visited, she had a huge Dolce & Gabbana bottle, which again, very expensive fragrance. That was turning yellow and I'm like, mom, you have to use this. You can't just keep it. You can't just hoard it. That's not going to make it age, like stop aging. So please just use up your fragrances because otherwise they're just going to go bad and you paid like hundreds of dollars for this stuff. You know what I mean? So I love this. I'm definitely going to use it up. Ugh, I don't know. I just, ugh, if you're into like that sweet, clean scents, this is like right up your alley. Okay, here's another one that is in my finish up this bottle, Karen. This is Marc Jacobs Pear. Love this scent so, so much. I actually just sprayed it uh, before I started filming. It kind of has like a manly scent to it, but I love it. And people ask me when I'm wearing this, what perfume I have on. I also love that this is like a more affordable fragrance by Marc Jacobs. I think it's like 62 bucks for this humongous bottle. And this is also sold at Ulta, so you can definitely use your points to buy it. So I really love this scent and it's a great daytime fragrance. This is kind of like the Burberry one as it doesn't last a long time. So I definitely carry it around and reapply it, which is probably why I've gone through so much of it because it's not very long lasting, but I get a ton of compliments and it's a really great everyday kind of scent. Okay, so here is one of those that was definitely like a packaging buy on my part. This is the Moschino Fresh Couture Eau de Toilette in 1.7 fluid ounces. If you guys remember this, it came out last year sometime. It has a pretty good fragrance to it. I have a friend that really likes the scent of this. I swear, I, I, I really just bought it for the packaging because I thought it was really, really cute and ingenious that it looks like a little Windex bottle. You do have to take the cap off though to use it. So yeah, it's just kind of sitting in my collection. It's pretty new, so I'm not too worried about it turning just yet. But yeah, honestly, it's not, it's not my favorite scent, I must say. But I can tell you about a fragrance I love from Moschino, which is this one. I actually don't even know what this is called because this was the collection they did with Sephora. But I do believe you can buy this fragrance not in this packaging. This one, oh my god, I love the smell. It's so bad. It smells just like suntan lotion. I think most people would hate the scent, but I personally love how this fragrance smells. And of course the packaging is adorable, but honestly guys, I do wear this. I think it's a great summertime scent. You can wear it all day. You can put it on at night. It has a very nice summer scent. And I just, I love, I love this scent so, so much. Even if it didn't come in bare packaging, I would buy it because I love how it smells. 
Okay, the next fragrance I want to talk to you guys about is the only one from Elizabeth and James that I like. This is Elizabeth and James Bourbon. It's the brown bottle. I love this stuff. It just has like a, it's, it's the perfect fragrance for me. That's like a nighttime musky scent, but it's not like as strong as YSL Black Opium. So I really like this. I didn't really like any of the other Elizabeth and James fragrances. The white one and the black one, I don't like at all. The rose one, it's like, I'm not gonna do another rose scent because I can't even get through the Chloe scent. And they just came up with two new ones, a gray and a purple. And I can't remember, I smelled both of them and I like one way more than the other, but I can't remember which bottle it is, which is fine because I don't need to buy any more fragrances. So yeah, I, I have bourbon and I really like it. So if all of the scents I've shown you today are kind of like your scents, like if you like some of these smells, I would think that you would like some of the other ones I've talked about too. So that's my logic. Hopefully that helps you guys out. The next fragrance is one that is new to my collection and I've wanted this all year long and I waited for a sale. This is Chanel Chance. They come out with a few different ones in this line. So there's like a pink bottle, a blue one, a green one. I love the green one. I'm so glad I got this. I was going to get it during the last sale but it sold out and then I was like, you know, I have so many fragrances I don't really need one. But this fragrance I did snag at this last VIB sale. so. Super happy to have it. I will have the notes on the screen in case you guys are interested in finding out what that smells like. Last two products are also very new to me. Of course, I took advantage of the sale and picked up some Jo Malone fragrances. Now, I hadn't really ever smelled these. I did have like one small sample of the peony scent, but I am not really into floral, so I picked two that were like more fresh type scents or the descriptions were more related to fresh and like woodsy. And so this one is wood sage and sea salt. A lot of people talk about what a wonderful scent this is. And so I was like, you know what, let me just splurge and get the big bottle because I'm bougie like that. But I am not sure about these just yet because their fragrances smell like nature. Like they're not artificial scents. So they're very sophisticated and it's hard for me because I like things that smell like something. And so Wood Sage and Sea Salt is like, it's almost, it, it's definitely unisex and I feel like I could definitely see my husband wearing it. And he smelled both of these and he like is begging me to keep these even after I told him how much each bottle costs. He's like, but can you keep them? You already bought them. I'm like, honey, but I don't know if I love them yet and I'm not willing to commit to this price point. And he's like, but can you keep them? They smell so good. I'm so sick of my fragrances. And I'm like, oh my God, is this really happening? So we'll see. I don't know yet. So I have wood sage and sea salt. And the other one I have is the mandarin, lime, lime and basil and mandarin. And he loves lime and basil. So he really loves that scent as well. Unfortunately, the person that needs convincing, which is me, I just can't make up my mind. And I have so many other fragrances. I'm like, I really don't need this and I don't know if I can justify keeping them right now but we'll see I'm gonna test them out a little bit more and make my decision so if you guys like Jo Malone fragrances definitely let me know down in the comments I read all my comments and I usually get back to you guys right away so yeah definitely leave me a comment down below or just say hi you know that always makes my day as well Okay guys, that is everything in my perfume collection. Also, I do have a shit ton of samples because I keep all those fucking little bottles that Sephora sends me. I literally have a drawer in one of my acrylic containers that is just all perfume samples and now I've come to that point where it's like, Karen, you're being a hoarder so I smell it and if I don't like it, I just chuck it because like, ain't nobody got time to be hoarding perfume samples. Like, what is wrong with me? There's genuinely something wrong with me. Anyway, that is everything. Let me know what your favorite fragrance is down in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. I do hope you have a great rest of your day and thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Bye.